Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another episode of Cougar Tales. Yes, I know I haven't posted a Cougar Tale in a while and that's because YouTube took down three of my videos and apparently according to my warnings, they say that some of you guys are using my Cougar Tales for sexual gratification. So I guess I have to preface this video with saying, guys, this is just a dating story about me dating a younger guy. So don't use it for sexual gratification purposes. Anyways, in today's Cougar Tale, I am going to tell you about the bragger. Now, did the bragger and I end up having sex? Did we see each other more than once? Did he live up to his bragging? If you want to know all the answers to these questions, stick around and find out. So I met the bragger on Bumble. He was 32 years old and not really my type because he was kind of country, but I don't know. I'm going through some weird funky country phase. So I just decided, what the hell, I'm gonna match up with him and see what happens. And in Bumble, uh, sometimes I pay to see who likes me first so I could tell that he liked me first. So we ended up matching up and we messaged each other for, for a few days and then I don't know, I just felt like there really wasn't a lot of chemistry between us. Like, you know how you could just tell when you're texting somebody that your text exchanges are exciting and you're looking forward to messaging them. You know, you look forward to seeing your phone, you know, ping because they sent you a message. I didn't really have that with him. So I kind of let the conversation die. And every once in a while, like oh, every week or so, he would message me and say, hey, what are you up to? Like, how have you been? And, you know, I would respond to him. I wasn't rude, but I didn't really go out of my way to keep messaging him. Anyways, we kind of work in the same field. So a couple of times he said, hey, give me a chance. I know what I'm doing. I'm well endowed. And he said it a couple of times and I just thought, okay, all right, let's meet up. So after literally like over a month of texting each other, we finally met up and he was cute. He wasn't like, oh my God, super gorgeous, but he was cute. The conversation went well. We had a few drinks, you know, laughed and joked. And then we ended up back at his place. I know, I know you guys are saying, Michelle, what are you doing? Like he could, he could be a serial killer. But against my better judgment, I went back to his place. So we started making out on his couch and one thing leads to another and I decide, okay, I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna give him a blowjob. So he takes his pants off in his underwear and so I start blowing him while he's sitting on the couch and he just leaned back. Oh, you can see my ring light, but he just leans back like this. And I think, okay, you know what? I'm giving you the blowjob. I mean, I'm doing all the work. So just sit back, relax, enjoy. And so I gave him a blowjob for a little bit and then we decided to go to his bedroom. So we head off to his bedroom and he continues to lay on the edge of the bed and take, takes his clothes off. And I continue to, to keep giving him a blowjob and then I take my clothes off and then I get on top. And I shit you not, I was doing all the work. All he did was lean back and he was like this. And I was just like, you know what? Like put your hands on, on my hips or something, you know, help me out here. So he finally puts his hands on my hips and you know, I'm on top and then I roll over and he's on top. He's literally only on top for like less than a minute and then then he rolled me over and then I was on, I was on my knees. We we're doing a doggy style. And before I knew it, it was over. Like 30 seconds later, we were done. And I was like, what the fuck? Then I thought to myself, now I know what guys mean when they say, I just fucked a dead fish. Like that chick was a dead fish. That guy was a dead fish. And why did he brag? Because I can guarantee you, he didn't know what the hell he was doing. Was he well endowed? No, no, he wasn't. Was he bigger than four inches? Yes. Was he less than six? Yes. So I'm like, I don't know what you're bragging about, dude. 
It's not like you got an eight or nine inch penis. So that went out the window and I should have known better. So all the guys I've ever been with who have been well endowed, they don't say a damn word. They just let you figure it out. They let you find out and you're like, oh shit, pleasantly surprised. And guys who know what they're doing in bed, they don't ever say a damn thing. And in all fairness, it really comes down to chemistry. If two people have chemistry, then, you know, sex is going to be off the charts. I mean, you could fuck a porn star, but if you, if there's no chemistry between you and that porn star, the sex might not be that good. So in all fairness, I'll give them that, but it just wasn't there. So anyways, uh, we ended up messaging a couple of times after that, but I just let it die. And then I did end up telling him like, dude, I don't know what you're bragging about. And he was like, what do you mean? And then I had to lecture him like, hey, you know, you don't want a girl rating you as a six. You know, you want to be an eight, nine or 10. You got to put forth some effort. You don't want to be a dead fish. So anyways, that's my story of the bragger. I hope you guys learned from this. Ladies, don't be a dead fish. Guys, don't brag and put forth some effort. I think we all need to put forth some effort guys and gals. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. And as you know, I read every single comment. And until next time, happy hunting.